we're going to introduce a functional group called an imine. Now we haven't talked about imines at all before, but the imine is an important functional group anytime you talk about how you make amines. And of course, we're discussing how to make amines, so we're going to have to introduce the imines. The imine uh, forms from an amine plus a simple carbonyl compound, aldehyde or ketone. We're going to make a carbon-nitrogen double bond. Um, and as I said, the, these are uh, very commonly used to create other imines. I'm sorry, other amines. So the imine is used to make amines. So the overall reaction looks like this. We're going to take an amine, and it'll always be a primary amine. And we're going to react this with a carbonyl compound. Let's just do an aldehyde some generic aldehyde, and we'll react this in a solvent like methanol. And what happens is we are going to form a carbon-nitrogen double bond. The nitrogen will replace the oxygen, and we have two hydrogens on our left on our primary amine, so we lose an, lose an oxygen and two hydrogens. That is a loss of water. This is a reversible reaction. It's very much like the acetal and ketal chemistry where um, we strike up an equilibrium and since we form water, we can either remove water to drive the reaction to the right, or we can add water to drive it to the left. So we can make amines or we can hydrolyze them to get back our primary amine and carbonyl compound. So let's look at the mechanism. Um, this reaction starts with our amine, and we have a carbonyl. And amines are actually reasonably good nucleophiles, and they can without any help, attack a neutral carbonyl. People will talk about what pH this operates best at. The fact is, it runs just fine under neutral conditions. So we attack the carbonyl, we get a tetrahedral intermediate of sorts, and we're in methanol, so we can protonate this tetrahedral intermediate. And that gets us to here. Now remember I said we're, we're going to form water as our product. So we need to get rid of this OH group. But we can't get rid of this OH group with this nitrogen still protonated. So let's use something. Actually, we're going to make an alkoxide here in O-. minus. So let's use that alkoxide to do this deprotonation. And that gets us to here. Oops, need our primes. Um, and now, this is kind of a weird step. As we saw with acetal and ketal chemistry, we end up losing water. And for that, we had to protonate the water first. But for those reactions, we had acid around. As it turns out, the nitrogen doesn't need any help. The nitrogen lone pair is potent enough just to say, get out of here, OH. And we're going to lose OH minus, something that we uh, very rarely see, but it works in this case. And if you look at what happens in that reaction, that gets us to a new carbon-nitrogen double bond, and that's sort of the point. That's part of an imine. And then this OH- minus can then come back home and pluck off that hydrogen, and we form our neutral imine plus water. <coughs> So here is our imine. It's great. This is a pretty quick reaction. It tends to be very clean. Um, so let's look at an, a real example. Let's say we took a primary amine, ethylamine, and you reacted this with benzaldehyde. And we do this in methanol. Ethanol, not water. Remember, water is going to make us favor the starting material side of the reaction. So alcohol solvents are really common, but not water. And we get this. This would be our specific imine, and we would lose water. So this is how we make imines. Always start with a primary imine and a simple carbonyl compound, either an aldehyde or a ketone.